Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Hey, it's Mandy uh, Ross with Gwen's Foxy Nest and I'm a Chalk Couture Independent Designer. And we're here to do another project. Uh, this time we're gonna do a workspace project. So yesterday, uh, if you caught my live, you caught these cute little tea towels that we made. So we're just gonna add on to that with a workspace project. So if you're office, or I know a lot of people are going uh, virtual homeschooling, woo, praying for you mamas. Um, but we're, so we're just gonna make us a little uh, virtual uh, home office workspace right now. So yesterday we used these little guys, and I hope you can see them. Uh, but there's 12 different ones you can choose from, and this is our farmhouse minis. And um, so we're gonna use that. And then we're also gonna use our uh, herringbone um, um, pattern. You know I love patterns. If you've been watching me, I am a pattern girl. So guys, as you're joining, say hello. Tell me where you're from. Even if you're watching the replay, guys, uh, I love to hear from you guys. Like it, heart it, share it. Uh, give me some love. We're gonna use a uh, white paste here. And I'm actually gonna, I chose the little uh, Farm Sweet Farm. And then I chose, we're gonna do, work on some chocolate chips. And then we're gonna use our basin board. And guys, this goes, can go this way or this way, and you can chalk on both sides, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Oh, we're also gonna need some little uh, like glue dots, something, something adhesive to help the, ch the chocolate chips stay on. So. I like to, when it's small like this, I kind of like to show you guys um, about the paste. So the paste goes on wet but dries hard, but it's removable when you're ready. So you can, the kids can touch it, um, you can dust it and all that good stuff, but when you're ready for a new design, which that's what Chalk Couture is all about, is we are like the repurposed queens. So we like to get uh, stuff done real quick. Um, so guys, you can either just get it wet, and it does take a little bit, so you can just kind of take your fingers and you uh, have a little extra therapy um, to uh, get it off. Or we have like this handy dandy scraper uh, to uh, get off as well. So that's just the faster way. So if you're doing lots of projects or bigger projects, um, the scraper's super handy. But, you know, for a beginner, I'd say it's not a must, but it is kind of fun to have. So, let's see. Let me get the rest of this off here. And then we're just gonna put this new design on it. Uh, this And this is one of our chalkboards, guys. So, this just kind of makes it handy to redo things, especially for your office, when you kind of, um, you know, it makes it easy because you can just kind of take in your uh, transfer your your stencil your transfer is what we call it, but you might actually think of it as a stencil, um, and just kind of redo it for the season, for the holiday, for the, your style when your style changes. That way, you're not having to like store a bunch of uh, more a bunch more products, like picture frames and all that good stuff. Okay, let that dry off, and I'm gonna put down the. Um, uh, herringbone first and then we're gonna make the little chocolate chip really cute so let's get the, this done so I don't know like the big trend right now I don't know if you guys know is to have like a pattern background and then have um, like your wording on top of it so a lot of them are doing um, like two frames like they'll do one frame in the back that's just all um, patterns and the trending patterns are herringbone and buffalo, buffalo plaid. So we have, we have, and we have both those available uh, for you to use. And they're super simple, um, you know, to use. We actually have like one consultant that signed up as soon as she saw the buffalo plaid because it took her like two hours um, to do buffalo plaid. She was like, heck with that when you can do it in like, you know, five minutes. So when she was creating her project, she was like, oh my goodness, I can't. I can't do another two hour buffalo plaid. But she loved buff, but you know, she loved it, so she just found an easier way to do it. So when you get your chalk paste, guys, you just wanna make sure it's like a yogurt-like consistency. Um, if not, just spray a little bit of a de 
a distilled water in it. And the distilled water just kind of helps it from, um, you know, going, going bad because it's kind of an all natural product. It's basically made out of chalk. So um, I, you know, and I love anything made out of chalk. It's so easy to work with. So just kind of go around and, and put in your paste and then um, use your squeezy, squeegee. So no paint brushes. We don't need a paint brush. You just need a squeegee and um, get that around your board here. And I'm just gonna make all the, the back of the board just this uh, herringbone in white. And guys, you could use, we have like 30 different colors. So you could definitely match whatever is already going on in the office. Or, you know, for the holidays, you could go out and do like a red and green. That would be real pretty. For the, I guess, Christmas for fall, we have some really pretty shimmer paste colors. The greens and yellows and oranges um, that are really uh, in style right now. So uh, check those out. And guys, I'll give you the links for everything I'm using today down in the comments when I'm done. Um, but let's see how easy that is and how cute the herringbone is. Just let me show you. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And um, I'm gonna take this to my sink, guys, and just wash the paste off of it. And watch the, once the paste is off, I'm just gonna let the, uh, set up the sticky side to dry. And then once it's dried, I'll put it back on the backer, backer sheet with the sticky side and the shiny side of the backer sheet together, okay? And then you can reuse it up to a dozen times, so, you know, you can redo your design there. Okay, next we're going to do just our chocolate chip, and um, I'm just going to put the Farm Sweet Farmhouse, yeah, Farm Sweet Farm on it. Uh, again, just in white, we're just going to keep it real simple. Hold on, I got me some paste on here that I don't want on here. So, good thing is if you, you can't really mess up on our chalkboard. So, if you do get something where you don't want it or it turns out like you don't like it, you just wipe it off and start over again. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here. And guys, this would actually be a really cute one to have. Um, drop that down just a little bit to have in the kitchen as well, along with your uh, little tea towels. So you use the ink for the tea towels because it's permanent. And then you use the paste with um, pretty much everything else um, that's because it's semi-permanent. So you can kind of wipe it off and start over. But if you're using it like on wood and you want it to be, go ahead and use the paste. But if you want it to be uh, permanent, you can just use a spray sealer on it and um, it will stay. I, I honestly, no, normally I don't spray any, spray anything unless I'm gonna put it outside because it's, you're, you're never, you're probably not gonna get most of it, most of the things that you have in your house wet, right? It's gonna be kind of put up um, on a shelf or something. So I don't really normally worry about um, sealing much of anything. So let's take this and if you can see that there you go so again I'll just take this to my sink and guys I've already used this exact transfer a couple of times take it to my sink wash it off and I will um, uh, let it dry and I'll put it back on here so I can use it again so let's get these dry and then I'll show you kind of my idea here actually while this is drying we put on our bow so on the base of it, just to fix it up just a little bit, I'm gonna put on a pretty ribbon. So just find one that goes with the colors that you're, you're already had in your place or that you're going for. Um, you can see that I put like a, like a jute on there before, so I'm just gonna take that off. And actually our newer, um, we, we actually just came out with some newer base boards that are lighter, it's a lighter, stain um and that's that's supposed to be the real trendy thing right now is just to do a lighter stain on all your like your trim work kind of like i want to say like an american honey stain that's kind of what it kind of reminds me of so 
So I'll put this here. This up here. And you can get fancy with it. You could even chalk on the base here with the herringbone um, and make it real cute. It, it wouldn't, it'd be more permanent. So you wouldn't be able to get it off. Um, so kind of got that all twisted. I'm gonna leave it. Maybe I can just, yeah, there, there, okay. Put that there and then I'm gonna get this dry and put it together and we'll see the final project. So really easy and simple. And guys, I get asked all the time, um, you make it look so easy. Guys, it is easy. Um, you know, I try to do the whole like cricket machine and you know, and even just plain stencils. And um, I just, this, the cricket didn't click with me and the stencils were just too hard and cumbersome to work with. But this, this clicks. This is quick, this, this is fun, and it's easy. So guys, I got, I got a little bit of chalk where I don't want it. So I'm just gonna take some water and get off the edge there and clean it up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over and you can see it doesn't take very long to dry at all. And so really at home, you can just kind of set it to the side or just use a hair dryer. You don't need anything fancy. These are actually just glue dots. And so guys, you just need something that you can, um, you know, use an adhesive on and, um, or be able to adhere to this surface over here. So I like the glue dots just because it, you can reuse your, um, you can just reuse your um, chocolate chip there. And it comes in, I think a set of 12, the chocolate chips do. Um, so you can make some extra cute things and like especially when Christmas comes around you can make some little Christmas ornaments It'd Be really cute Okay, so let me put this here And Voila, we're done. We made we freshened up our workspace with just the cutest and simplest little design here. Okay, so you can change out the colors, you can change out the ribbon, um, you can change out this whole design when you're ready, and you could either, you can even have a, like a double design, so when you get tired of one, you change it to the other. Or like I like to say, like, one's before coffee and one's after coffee, so, you know, let people know when they can talk to you versus, like, when you're just gonna listen. <laughs> So guys, thanks for joining, and I hope that this inspires you to have a foxier nest. And if you have questions, just put them down in the comments or send me a direct message. As always, guys, um, I will put what I use today down in the comments so you can purchase on my online shop that ships anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, and it strips, ships straight to your door. Um, this actually, this little board actually comes in the starter kit. If you become a club member, there's an extra option to uh, get a starter kit. And I think, I wanna say, I'm pretty sure this is one of the uh, boards that comes with it. And then if you decide to do a designership, like what I'm doing, um, and sell the products, this does come with a designership. Uh, so this little board and the chocolate chips would come with that. So just another way to um, use our products and have some good ideas. Guys, this would even be cute uh, to do with some like sc scrap wood. Um, instead of using this chalkboard, just use our chocolate chips on a scrap wood. Um, and then you could change this out because uh, we always have our different minis come um, like there's some for summer, there's some for the fall, there's some for uh, Christmas. So they, they kind of supply these little guys uh, for each little season um, to kind of keep current and, and style. So you could do the block wood and then just kind of keep in mind to change that out for the seasons and stuff. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I don't even know what day it is. I want to say it's Wednesday, but I kind of think it's Thursday. <laughs> uh, but guys, um, let me know if you have questions and you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.